Hi everybody and welcome back to some more racing here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now in today's video guys we've got the new MXGP3. Yes it's finally been released and we're going to be doing a full walkthrough here on this channel on this game. Now we did a full walkthrough on MXGP2 and it was an awesome series on the channel so I want to carry on the series. Now this game offers some added extras. It's got dynamic weather this year. It's got two strokes guys and obviously we're going to be doing some of the online as well. Now we didn't do too much of the online last uh, last series but we are going to be do, doing some online on this series. Once we've got into our walkthrough we will be doing some online races hopefully with you guys so if you want to join that, me on that don't forget to let me know in the comments below but this is going to be an awesome walkthrough. So we're going to start off the career in today's episode. We're going to just check out uh, just a couple of things, the character, um, we can't do much of the upgrading because you don't start off with many credits and then we're going to do a couple of races in today's episode. We're probably going to put it on a lower level than we would normally have it on but once we've done a couple of uh, episodes then we're going to crack it up to realistic on the pro physics and then we're going to get right into it guys. I hope you enjoy this series but like I said I'm going to do some of the other game modes, some of the online as well so we're going to get straight into that now. So we're going to jump straight into the career. And uh, don't forget guys, I'm going to do loads of voting during this series as well so you can join in, so you can vote what team I choose, what bike. Obviously there's going to be some competitions for you, chance to, uh, for you uh, to have chances to win some goodies as well during this series as well. So I'm really looking forward to this guys. Uh, it looks absolutely brilliant and the videos I've seen, so I'm going to jump straight into it now. So um, I've already filled in my character details and we're going to jump straight into our first couple of races so we've got to choose a sponsor first so let's quickly get get straight into that and um, there was a lot of extras and uh, differences on the game so it's going to take us a while to get used to that the feel of the game but hopefully after a couple of episodes we can get straight into it so we've got three teams to choose from uh, but i think they're all about the same level and um, we've got to finish uh, at least 15th well I'm sure we can manage that. Well, hopefully. We'll just go with that team. They're, like, they're all the same standard, but it's like uh, the normal uh, way that you earn respect points and then you get other offers uh, from teams. But like I said, I want you to be involved in that. Also, um, there is a couple of other differences on this game, but we'll run through that in a diff different episode. I want to get some gameplay and get straight into the career in today's episode. But uh, yeah, they've got some other stuff. They're giving the good thing about this that I've seen so far is always giving you tips and letting you know what's what. Like the other episode, the other series didn't do. There was a lot of stuff that a lot of people couldn't figure out. And I'm hoping that the career mode works this time. Because I remember last time you went through a part of the. Uh, the um, season, and once you went, you wanted to go up to GP bikes. It just carried on on the MX GP2 uh, series. So hopefully that doesn't that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, so we start off. Um, our first bike is a KTM 250 SXF. Uh, like I said, we haven't got many um, credits, so we're not going to do any upgrading now. What we'll probably do is we'll do a couple of races, and then we will make a few changes to the bike. Now, the, I went with the KTM first because it was a very popular bike in the in the previous episode uh, uh, series. Sorry, so I thought we'll stick with that. And like I said, um, I'm going to have it on the random weather, and uh, we're going to leave it on semi-pro. And obviously, I always turn the rewinds off. I don't bother with re rewinds. You want it as realistic as possible. So if I fall off, I fall off. Simple as that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try and keep it as uh, normal. But like I said, after a couple of episodes, we will put it up to realistic because I do like it on the harder level. Even if I struggle, it's better to have that competition. So uh, we're going to get straight into that. Um, like I said, it's got loads of different game tips, which we'll run through as we go through it, guys. Uh, we're just trying to learn the different things that the game offers. So we're going to start off in the MX2 series. And uh, we're not going to, like I said, we've got, uh, we've called ourselves KPG Guna, obviously, with number 69. The reason why I chose that number, still uh, still feeling a little bit upset about the Nicky Hayden. I thought 69 is a, is a good number, so why not use that number? But uh, the good thing about this uh, game, it has a similar... Uh, similar thing to Valentino Rossi the game as you as you go through the different races you upgrade on uh, different aspects of your your abilities which is good uh, we're gonna do we're gonna start off in this today's uh, episode we're gonna do two races and uh, I think after the next one we will do the qualifying uh, yeah we do the qualifying and the two races in the next episode and we may change up the views like we do one race in third person the second race in um, in um, 
first person so just mix things up let me know in the comments below i might do the two camera views as well and i uh, hope you enjoy it guys so we're going to get straight into the racing now i'll turn off the camera so you don't have to uh, look at my ugly mug all the way through the race i hope you enjoy it and please please guys please give this a big thumbs up I, like i said i want this series to be really good on the channel so let's get straight into the racing so we start off on a really difficult circuit uh, and uh, this one should be interesting so let's get straight into it now so here we go Right, so here we go with our first two races around this Latvia circuit. Now, it's uh, in good condition, so we haven't got rain for the first couple of races, and it's an intermediate sand surface. Now, we're not doing any adjustments to the bike, and we're not doing any qualifying, but we will do the qualifying for the second race, and we will up the level as well. So we're on we're on hard, and it's on semi-pro. I just wanted a gentle feel for the game in the first couple of races, and then we will up the level for the second episode, guys, and I expect it's going to be very, very challenging from then on. But let's see if we can get a good start. Um, it's all about uh, dropping that clutch at the right time plus we haven't uh, upgraded the bike either so it's a standard bike so we are going to struggle against the AI but uh, we will see and see if we can get good starts we've got to drop that clutch at the right time and out the traps oh that was a little bit too late there but uh, that's not bad let's see if we can get a good turn into this first right hander just try and get a nice turn oh my god I've just wiped someone out i am so sorry buddy i did not mean to do that uh, i just left the brake in a little bit too late let's see if we can get a nice turn and i've taken someone else out oh my god i'm being a little bit too aggressive in this first race but uh, let's see if we can get close to the front and we've managed to get right up to p2 in this first few corners we've been a little bit aggressive but it's a good start now let's see what this game feels like now we've only got it on semi-pro physics and it's on hard but hopefully that will be a gentle fill into this game and the colors of this game are so bright uh, i must admit there's a lot more color in this game now i'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like uh, obviously with the dynamic weather um, this game's supposed to run in 60 uh, frames per second as well uh, so we're i'll be interested to see if that's the case and see what it's like online as well guys uh, i'm really really looking forward to all the different uh, features that they've added on this game they have oh god almost hit the bloody boards there they have built this game Game right from scratch with the new Unreal uh, 4 engine uh, so it's it's gonna have a total different feel to it it's, it sounds better it actually doesn't feel too bad as well guys uh, hopefully I can really have a good season on this game and uh, it's gonna be quite a long walkthrough as well guys we did nearly uh, 80 videos on the last one on MXGP2 so this one's gonna be a quite a long series as well and we've got loads of other games coming in the next couple of weeks next cut coming up on the channel we've got Dirt 4 we've got MotoGP 17 we've obviously got GT Sport and the Project Cars 2 it's gonna be such a busy year so let's see if we can hold it through there and try and get a nice turn in here now I can feel like I oh yeah I couldn't turn the bike it's not steering around the corners very well like i said in the next uh, race we will do some of the qualifying and do some adjustments to the bike uh, and if i can help you with a few setups that'd be good as well uh, so let's see if we can just hold this line we're not doing too bad we're fighting for second place at the moment i think uh, mac max anstey is uh, totally pulled away here and i don't think we're going to be able to catch him unless i start improving and plus i'm going to have to start practicing uh, doing all the, uh, the the scrubs and whips and uh, getting used to how to transfer the weights and getting a decent speed over the jumps it takes a while to get used to when you haven't played these games for a while it takes a little a uh, few games and races just to get used to it and not just try to do a whip there that wasn't a, a really good one i didn't really have the the air time to do that but i managed to get pull one off and that's good uh, but yeah it just it's just one of those games where you've got to really really practice uh, on your braking obviously because you've got the two brakes your, your weight distribution uh, to get over the jumps and get that front end down and uh, you know it, anything that you can get to make you go fast over those jumps is always a bonus also i always found like in the first series i've got a lot of tips from a lot of you subscribers which really helps so if you want to give me some tips i all i am always welcome to them i'm not a, a, a massive expert on a, a motocross obviously because mxgp2 was my first experience last year and i have picked up quite a bit i do i do actually watch the uh, motocross now i do actually love it it's really really entertaining and i have actually got a circuit that's quite close to where i live so i should really i should be really into it really so um yeah so 
if you've got any tips don't forget to let me know in the comments below um, as I know there is quite a few that follow the channel that, are, that actually do uh, motocross as well and have a really good uh, good knowledge of the sport right let's just try and hold it through here that's not too bad just try and get a decent uh, jump over there that's much better through there just trying to hold on to second place and uh, Max is just absolutely ripped away so it doesn't look like we're going to catch him on this uh, lap but uh, let's see if we can just finish off in second place that would be good but we will change up the views as well guys which uh, will be good as well to try out so I'm not going to do it in today's episode we're, do we're, do we're doing bit by bit like I said it's going to be quite a long walkthrough so we have plenty of time to go through all the different things and I'll be looking forward to doing some online on this as well. That should be good. Right, let's just try and hold it through here. That's a good jump through there. Starting to really speed up. And uh, that's good. So we're getting a little bit quicker now. Getting used to the bike. Uh, we will, like I said, we'll do a bit of upgrading after these two races and improve the performance of our bike. Let's see if we can beat our time. So we did a 148 on the last lap let's see if we can beat that show some improvement right get nice and tight there try and get a tighter line oh we've gone on the outside that time no 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 i think he's gonna take it are oh, you absolute get i knew that was gonna happen as soon as i went on the outside jonas got the inside and i knew that was gonna happen that used to happen to me so much on mxgp2 and i took the wrong line sometimes you can get better momentum going on the outside but it didn't work out there but we got third place in our first race. And it does feel really good, guys. Um, I didn't come off, which is good. I know we put it on the semi-pro physics. Uh, so that will be a little bit more challenging in the next episode. But still, it feels really, really good. So we're going to go straight into the second race. Hopefully get some more points on the board. Now we're going to earn some respect and credits for that first race. And... Uh, obviously you've got this level up system yep with the braking throttle management and control obviously nothing for rain because obviously it's not raining so we're not going to gain any ability for that but i do like the fact that you can you can improve your your skills as well as you go along so it'd be interesting to see how people write uh, level up because if those are those people that don't obviously do a lot of uh, races in the wet and then you go online and you've got a race in the wet and you've avoided that you're going to struggle guys so it's got to you've got to really get into that and make sure you upgrade all the different areas right let's see if we can get a better start in this second race oh that was much better we let the clutch out a little bit sooner there and we managed to get away let's see if we can get a nice turn so we got a third place in that first race oh god just lost quite a few positions and i didn't wipe anyone out which is always a good thing for the second race right let's just try and hold on to this position try not to get knocked off and uh, we're sitting in a decent position so we're in i think we're in about uh, eighth or ninth position and that's not too bad for the start we've got uh, three laps and oh even max is back here as well who won the first race now if he doesn't finish quite high up and i finish in better position i might be able to finish higher up in the standings as, uh, as him as you get points per race so uh, i might be be able to get a good overall standing uh, start to this series which will be absolutely brilliant but it will get a little bit more challenging like i said from next episode because we're going we're up in the level but it's just the way i like to do it so uh, but we will do that the same on the other games that we start on the channel uh, i mean like i said uh, next week we've got um well it's just over a week we've got dirt four which is going to be very challenging and obviously a uh, moto gp 17 which is always a difficult game to start off on right let's just try and get a good uh, drive down this section we've managed to take another place we did start to speed up in that first uh, that first race towards the end so hopefully we can do that and try and take a bit of a tighter line through this section so we don't lose a position oh god that's a little bit too tight see these are the things you have to get used to it's a matter of getting the right getting in that right the right groove getting that cut to pull that clutch in giving it a bit of a uh, rev up and getting a good pull off uh, but uh, like I said I haven't adjusted the bike and it's, it's, it is not turning in very well it's understeering quite a lot which is a really really frustrating I can't get the front end of the bike but I'm feeling it, feel, it is feeling very very good which is a, a real bonus and it does feel a lot different to MXGP2 so and it just, I think it sounds better as well but uh, we will see over the next uh, couple of months uh, whether they've really, really improved the game. I mean, first up, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, and I'm, but then I'm not that difficult to please. I, I love racing. I love the new games. So, but uh, you can see, you can see a lot of improvements. And the fact, uh, like I said, it gives you a little bit more information about things happening in the game. So even people that don't know a lot about uh, the sport can pick up this game 
and enjoy it as well because that's that's what you want you want to bring in a, a, an audience of people that don't always play these games because uh, it's no point having games that are just suited to the people that know about the sport that's you want it to be able to for the average gamer to play as well right let's see if we can gain a few places we are struggling in this second race this is a much uh, tighter competition so we're going to have to try and get amongst that let's see if we can get past we want to finish higher than max if we can we've got past him there and we want to beat uh, jonas as well after him bloody mugging me in that corner let's see if we can get past him in this section let's see if we can finish a little bit quicker as well uh, we are oh that's a nice air time there managed to get a good dry oh god just caught the corner there oh damn that's going to slow us down a bit and jonas has got back past us so uh, that was my own fault uh, but I didn't come off. That's the main thing, and so far so good. We, uh, this is the thing, guys. I don't use rewind, so if I come off, it does really screw you over. You do lose a lot of places. But uh, we've managed to stay on the bike so far. But I guarantee you, in the next episode, when I turn up the level, that that's not going to be. Especially if it rains. I'm. Oh god! Almost caught the corner again. Going in there a little bit too tight. That's just revving it up a little bit too much when I pulled in the clutch, and that's just kicking the bike up. Right, let's just try and get a good drive down this section and try and get a little bit, little bit tight at this corner because we went really wide last time. Let's try and get a little bit tighter in. Turn it. Still struggling. But with a few adjustments to the bike, we might have been able to uh, sort that out in qualifying. But uh, I didn't want to do the qualifying, so that's my own fault. Right, let's just try and gain a bit of time here. Oh, God, he almost landed on me there through that jump. And we are losing a lot of distance on the riders in front. So it doesn't look like we're going to... Get, I don't think we're going to catch him, are we? We might be able to catch him through here. I wanted to get past Jonas just because he beat me in the last race, right in that final corner, but I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get past him. I'll try and push it as much as I can. Let's try and get a bit tighter in here, get a good drive. Uh, we are a little, We might be able to, if we can get a good uh, bit of speed over these jumps, we might be able to gain a bit of time. It's threw in a whip there. That's not bad. That's made us get through the air a little bit quicker, and I've lost another position. So I'm not going as quick as I thought I was. Right, let's just try and hold it through these jumps and to see if we can catch up with Jonas here. Can we get past him? No, I don't think we're going to get past him there. Got a nice air time through there and we got past him. Can we get past Jeffrey Hurlings as well? That would be a bonus. Right, let's see if we can get past him in this couple of corners. Let's get nice and tight in and just try and hold it there. Can we get him in this corner? He's gone a little bit wider. No, I don't think we're going to get a good drive. It's going to be close. Oh, no, we didn't beat him. But that was fantastic, guys. And that's our first couple of races done. Right, so that's the first two races out of the way, guys. And I'll tell you what, it has a really good feel to it. I really enjoyed that. Now, in the next episode, we're going to up it to the pro physics. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how tough it's going to be on that. But yeah, those races were really, really tough, especially the second one. There's a little bit more challenge to it. So we've upgraded our skills as well, which is always good. So as you go through each race, you up grade your rider skill which is always good i love anything that has progression in it and uh, you can work to something right we've got to choose another sponsor but i think uh, no we've got the same teams offering us sponsors so we stick with the same one that we had before and uh, i think we'll spend some of our credits now um in the next episode like i said i'm going to up the levels uh, but we're up, we'll finish off this episode with a bit of upgrading. Let's see what we can spend. Now, we've only got 3,910 credits. I'm not sure that's going to get us much, but uh, let's have a quick look anyway. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it looks good. It sounds good. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to see what it looks like and feels like in the rain. That's, that is something I cannot wait for. So I think uh, we're we'll just probably buy a uh, crash out mate. we're not going to be able to afford to get all our stuff because I want to get uh, a bit of upgrading on the bike as well ready for the next race which will be in the next episode so let's get a crash helmet um, ooh, quite like that one that one's quite nice how much is that oh god see that's almost half our credits gone already so uh, so we just buy a uh, crash helmet just for this first episode and we'll see if we can spend the other 2,410 on, on the actual bike. Because we need to uh, in, we need to give it a bit more performance. Uh, I think that's where it lacked in those first couple of races. I felt like uh, the other bikes were a little bit quicker than I was. Uh, and uh, so you want to improve on that. But I think the upgrading on this on this new version is there's loads of upgrading, which I absolutely love about games i like i said i like progression i like being able to upgrade and change things it just adds uh, more variety to the game and uh, obviously with the two strokes as well there's plenty of bikes to choose from so this 
let's just have a look what we can change. Um, so we want to improve the performance. So first thing to have a look at is probably the exhaust. Um, let's have a look. Can we afford an Akupovic or 4,000 credits? So we can't afford an Akupovic and that would have really enhanced uh, some of the abilities on the bike. Let's have a look if we can get an Arrow. Well, that one's a little bit cheaper, so that gives a bit more acceleration and speed. Uh, but we can't afford the best one, so we can go for the first one. So we can buy, yeah, we go for the first. Mm, yeah, no, we go with the first one. We go with the first one. So that's one thousand eight hundred credits, and that uh, that's going to give us a little bit more acceleration and top speed, which is always good. Right. So we've only got, uh, like I said, we've only got a few credits left. Let's see if we can at least change the graphics on the bike. Right. Let's have a look. So you can change all the different colors on all the different parts of the bike, which is good. So you can really customize the bikes. Now, I don't think you could do that on the first one. You could do graphic kits and, and there's a few things you could change. Well, I think we'll just go with the, um, so that actually costs, probably gonna cost. So we'll just go with the sponsored uh, colors because that's not gonna cost us any credits. So we go with that just for this episode, but when we, like I said, after a few other races, we will start changing up the bike and making it look really, really good. Right, let's see if we can put some uh, uh, hand shields on it. So I do like them, the old hand guards. Let's stick them on. Let's go for a nice color to go with our new colors of the bike. Let's go for the red ones. How much they cost? 200 credits. So that leaves us 410. Can we get anything else? Um, I think we might. Let's have a look how much tyres are. So we've got quite a variety of tyres, more variety than they had before. Um, that's 500 credits, 500 credits. It looks like they're all 500 credits. So we're not going to be able to get any tyres. That's a shame. So we can't get any tyres. Right, can we get any... Oh, so you can change the suspension, the discs. So it, there is a lot of things you can change on the bikes, which is going to obviously improve the performance as well. Obviously the rims as well. So let's see if we can at least get some hand grips. Let's have a look at the different uh, styles we can go. Now I do believe there's over 300 different uh, parts that you can buy for the bike, so there's quite a lot. So it's gonna take you a lot of time uh, to go through and buy every single uh, different equipment, different color and different style. I mean, I'm gonna try and mix it up, I'm not using always the same exhaust, same this, same that. I'm gonna change it up and just see which makes I prefer. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, all our credits spent. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Please, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you very, very soon for the next one. And we will be up in the level as well, which is going to be really challenging. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And bye-bye.